Incredible Predators is the new IMAX film playing here at TELUS World of Science Edmonton. It takes a look at major predators and the challenges that these hunters must overcome to feed themselves and survive. In this amazing new film, you'll discover why the predator-prey relationship is one of nature's most spectacular. Incredible Predators, our newest IMAX film, is it's amazing. You're seeing uh, predators in all kinds of different environments, so everything from jungles and savannas to uh, Arctic to, to water and, and land. And, you get to see how tough it is to really be a predator. And so close, that's the, uh, the great thing about IMAX, it takes you to places that you actually feel you're, you're right beside these animals. That is the brilliant thing about IMAX technology and this big screen that we have here at TELUS World of Science Edmonton. You feel like you are right next to that cheetah that is hunting. You are in there, you are, you are cheering for it, or the antelope, I guess, depending on what side you come down on. One of the really interesting things I find that you learn in this film is predators aren't successful very often. I think they talk about the cheetah 50% of the time at most is, is how often it succeeds. Um, but you really build empathy for it. So you see some of these are parents. They've got little cubs around or um, you are really rooting for them because they're trying so hard to get that one meal that's going to feed that predator for the week. Um, that you build a lot of empathy and you, and you start to uh, connect and build a relationship in some ways with those animals. You're learning, you're seeing beautiful footage, but you're also getting some facts and information along the way in a, in a way that's very narrative and story driven. So what would be your favorite scenes in the oh, film? So, so many. <laughs> I know, all of the footage is stunning, but I think one of my favorite uh, scenes has to be the Darwin bark spider which is a tiny, tiny little spider in Madagascar, but it hunts in such a unique way. So typically we think about spiders as being orb, web weaving spiders, uh, but this one will send out strands of silk across a river and it has very strong and tough silk as well. The toughest uh, material that we know of um, from an animal and uh, their scientists are actually looking at it to see how they can replicate it um, engineers would love to have something to be able to build out, you know, in a similar way. Uh, but these these spiders will catch dragonflies or whatever might be floating above the river, flying above the river, and catch them in that uh, in that silk, and then wrap them up to eat them a little later. And I think kids will really love um, how up close and personal they get with some of these animals. Uh, I think they also get to think about some animals that you maybe don't think about normally as predators. You see a few insects in the film and um, typically when I think of predators I think of big cats, right? Cheetahs or wolves here in North America. I don't think about some of those smaller animals that you don't see as often. I was surprised at how connected I felt with some of the animals, how much I cheered some of them on. Um, I really found the, the diversity of animals and hunting strategies and adaptations for their environment really interesting too and they like I said they pose some predators in a way that I hadn't thought about them as being predators before. You think about whales as being these killer whales aside maybe being very peaceful and, and sort of majestic animals but they are predators too. It takes you right to nature at its best. Some of us, uh, like myself, a little more sensitive, think, oh, does this really happen? But this is what happens. So despite maybe being sensitive, at the end of the film, I walked out cheering on those predators because I wanted them to live and understand that that's what happens in nature. Right, you do, you do see hunting scenes. It is a G-rated movie overall, so it's, it's not very graphic. Um, but there are some predators that succeed. Uh, I think it's important that uh, you know, these are animals are all interconnected. All of them work together to create a web of life. And if we start, some of those animals start dying off and that web collapses, we're in trouble in a whole different way. So these animals do need to work to survive. Um, and, and that means that they eat other animals from time to time. Mm -hmm. Your thoughts as a biologist then of this film? Oh, <laughs> so I, I understand that, um, again, these animals need to eat um, and nature is, can be cruel sometimes, but uh, they, again, they don't think about things in sort of the same ethical tones that we, maybe we do. So it's not good or bad for them, it's just instinct and adaptation to survive.